Hello, welcome to my video. It is New Year's Day. Hey, we made it to 2017. I know for a lot of people in general, it's been a rough year, but new beginnings. Um, I'm participating in the 31 Days of Tarot. This is day one. Um, 31 Days of Tarot is a challenge hosted by Ethany. Um, yeah, where every day we are, we, we, as anyone who wants to participate, is challenged to create a video on a different theme with, with tarot every day of January. So this is day one, and today's challenge was to discuss um, 2017 in the cards. So do a reading for yourself and just share what came up. So yeah, I've actually already done my reading. I did it a couple of days ago and I've just been percolating on it, um, thinking about what I was going to say. And I pulled 12 cards, um, 12 cards. So I'm not going to do, I'm not going to go over each one. I'm really trying to keep each of these videos short and sweet and around the five minute mark. Um, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I'll just share some highlights. Um, from my reading. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, um, one of the cards represented my aspirations for the new year. What am I trying to achieve in 2017? And I pulled the Hanged Man card. This is the Shadowscapes deck. Um, the Hanged Man is what came up to represent my goals and aspirations for 2017. And I thought that is actually really true because I splurged a little bit uh, in December and bought myself a couple of gifts. I got the Conquer Your Year <laughs> business planner. And I also went and splurged and got myself the um, 2017 tarot planner from biddytarot.com. So you can buy that in like physical book format or you can download a PDF um, and it's supposed to help you um, yeah, be a better organized person utilizing tarot cards. So I thought, oh, that's awesome. That's perfect. So I'm using these two planners in conjunction. So how does that relate to the hanged man? Well, my goal is to have more time where I can just surrender and relax and everything is done ahead of time. I can just, yeah, let go and wait, wait until the day where I have to release that promotion or send that email or, um, you know, whatever. I just click a button when the day calendar changes over, when the day comes, and that's it. Everything is done well in advance. So that is my goal with the hangman. So I thought that was... Um, very fitting. Okay, so there with that. Okay, so we talked to the cards also told me there would be some challenges with trying to achieve that. Um, a couple cards that came up as challenges um, were the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles came up for me and I feel like those represent my personality that um, is going to help and hinder both help and hinder me. Um, I think I have formed some pretty bad habits over the year that are going to be really hard to break. Um, I'm pretty, you know, I'm already pretty disciplined, um, pretty tenacious. I think I can do it, but I, I think what will get me and be the biggest trick um, challenge for me is breaking those bad habits because I'm so used to just. Um, sitting down in front of my computer and winging it every day. I don't really, you know, I might know what I'm going to do the next day, but beyond that, it's, it's, yeah, it's been rough. So I need to get better at being more efficient and not winging it on a daily basis. Um, and so, yeah, the Knight of Pentacles was the challenge there. And I think with the Knight of Pentacles too, is I think I'm so determined to be this new, person's new way of approaching things um, that I might be a bit hard on myself when I do fall off the wagon and I might feel super guilty 
Um, and I do have a tendency, you know, to give up on New Year's goals. I'm sure most of us do. So uh, hopefully these planners, I can start new habits that will be um, very beneficial to me. So I pulled some cards with this reading. Among the 12 cards that I pulled, there's just kind of like, what's the general theme for my relationships, for my mental health, for, um, you know, just various aspects of my career. And all those things kind of just seemed, yeah, those are all things that I already do or that I'm already working on or nothing really jumped out as kind of strange or surprising, except one um, for... Um, spiritual and um, inner for fulfillment, I drew the Ten of Swords, which shocked me a little bit. Um, I was like, wow, like that's kind of often a pretty negative card, but when it came up as sp spiritual and inner fulfillment, I just immediately thought that something's coming up next year that's going to completely change my priorities. There's going to be a huge shift, and it's going to be both scary and, and painful, but also healing. So I feel like there's going to be some things I'm going to find hard to let go of um, as these priorities shift. Things that I've been putting a lot of myself into for so long, and then having to let it go or say goodbye in favor of whatever new thing is coming along that's going to be my new focus. So I'm not, other than that, I'm not really sure what that's going to be, but this card really stood out to me. I was like, whoa, this is kind of, this is kind of big. So stay tuned. We'll have to see what that big shift is going to be. Um, we've got a year to find out. Um, yeah, and then I asked the cards, you know, what's my biggest lesson that I am going to learn next year? And I got the reverse page of wands. So, uh, yeah, that was telling me that um, my biggest lesson is going to be learning the right strategies or what to do if the strategies, the new strategies I implement don't work or they fail or they leave me to different results than what I was hoping. So figuring out the right strategies, the right actions to take to achieve the goals I want. So that is going to be my big lesson next year. So not surprising, but um, kind of a bit of a warning to make sure that I am doing things that I should. And overall, where are we headed in the next 12 months? Well, I was really happy to draw the page of pentacles which tells me that if I can stick to my goals and I can be this reliable dependable practical efficient um, person as I approach my work um, and I plan ahead um, I can be looking forward to a prosperous 2017 so that was what I can most big theme that I can expect next year so that kind of sums up um, my personal reading that I'm sharing with you. If you um, are have a deck yourself, pull some cards and share in the comments what came up for you. Um, what What's the theme for your 2017? Um, share, leave me a comment and let me know what came up for you. And if you don't own a deck, uh, you can always come see me, email me. Um, I do email readings or come visit me at my store. Um, I have a shop just north of Victoria in Sydney, British Columbia, um, and I can pull some cards and let you know what's coming up for you in 2017. All right, so that wraps up video number one. Oh my gosh, I am four and a half minutes over what I had planned to be. Sorry for taking up your time, and but I'm going to wrap this up, and I will see you tomorrow for day two. Ciao!